What's going on guys, Cinderella Steve here with a new week of the WSS and today we're here for a team builder and a replay um, like how we did the last time. Uh, currently with the time crunch that I have been in and with the new setup that I've been trying to do. If you guys can see I'm not wearing a headset because I have a brand new mic right next to me. If you guys uh, see it probably on the video, I don't know if you guys can see it right now actually. Uh, you probably can, you can look. It don't matter. But anyway, so we're here for week number five of the double SS. And for those, uh, for uh, before we get like any more into it, I want to explain that uh, we are currently five and zero, oh, and uh, my opponent. I still need to look up the um like the um um like the actual score for it. Uh, but because uh one of the coaches, he couldn't, he didn't have time to be part of the league anymore. So everybody in the league got a free win. That's the short part of. Of the whole um, me trying to explain everything. Um, let me try to throw with the layout on. Anyways, um, so we did get a free win, which means for week number six we don't have a match because that's who we were supposed to face for week number six, and they're no longer in the um, like in the actual uh, league anymore. So with that, uh, we're here for week number five, and with the week extension, did not help out my time crunch that I was in, and. We ended up uh, facing the Giardos, if I recall correctly. I'm trying to remember, yeah, the the Monterey Giardos, uh, coached by Mora uh, or Morax. Um, honestly, really, really hard matchup. Um, his team uh, paired up really, really well against me, and I honestly could not do half the time. I couldn't do anything. Um, hopefully, this doesn't bring up my Twitter. Okay. Um, I couldn't do anything against them. Um, a lot of times I was looking at his team and was like, I, how, how am I supposed to break through these walls? Um, so for his team, he had, uh, Victini, Zygarde, uh, Scolopi, that's the Z captain, uh, the Togekiss, Delmice, Halucha, Vaporeon, Mega Agron, Exploud, Rhydon, and Rotom. Currently, he is actually, let me see, he's right now two and, two and two, so right now he is actually three and two because of the free win. Um, and we are sitting at 5 and 0 being the first in the league um with a differential of of 16 and the one right behind me is a 4 and 1 with the, with a differential of um uh 15 so the person in second place must have done a lot better than i have i have done a lot more closer matches but we uh but we we do pull up the win in a lot of them so Hopefully, um, we make some adjustments to our team. Uh, we might do a couple, um, a couple of trades in the next few days. Um, well, in this week uh, coming up, um, since I think week seven is the very last week that we can do trades, we might um, scout out what we need and what we don't need anymore in the team. But on that, we're just gonna hop on right into the into the team prep. I am trying out two different ways of doing this recordings. Um, I am recording. On OBS as well as as a free coin on um, my software so this is very unprofessional kind of way of me saying this stuff anyways so we have up first uh baby Thor the the thunders which is the only thing that can break through his entire team um with with a life orb it does uh want to kill a lot of stuff it does uh do a lot of uh, damage to the whole um like other half the biggest threat to his to this is e speed from a side guard um, which a, a plus one does over half, um, and we just have to be careful on how we use the thunders. Hold it, um, he's holding the, the life orb, having the the volt switch, uh, thunderbolt, dark pulse, and I and the HP ice. Uh, the last two moves uh, covers pretty much the rest of his team. The dark pulse is uh, majorly for the Delmice and the Victini, and the um. The, uh, 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 the only reason why I say for the Victini is because um, in case I'm not able to go for a Thunderbolt just in case of a switch um, into like a Zygarde or a Rhydon, um, I'm able to hit them for neutral damage. Um, uh, the HP is just to hit the Rhydon and the Delmice and the Zygarde. The Zygarde dies to the HP ice pretty much every single time, even in a except for the, the AV set, but then he won't be able to run um, any coil set, any subset, which is more common either way. Um, it does hit everything else re relatively hard, except for the Agron, um, and the Vaporeon dies to an old and 
the majority of it seems to still want to take a T-Bolt or a or a or a Volt Switch. Um, next up is going to be our uh, Ghost Rider for the second week that he comes in. Um, pretty much just uh, a Volt Breaker here. Um, having the the Flairvis, uh, the 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 Shadow Bone EQ and Knockoff, a Flairvis does a lot to a, a pour on either way, even if it's a a max defense. Um, and the sh and the sh the shadow bone is just for stab. The EQ is just to hit um the right on and the agons. And a sh I think they resist the shadow bone. I don't really call if I don't I don't know. I'm bad at Pokemon. And the and the and the knockoff is just for to get rid of an item. But that's for the the that's for the the Delmice either way. Next we have our uh, hipster the Uxie. Um, I think this set was a really mistake to bring. Um, the the Giga Drain was for the right uh was for the right on the knockoff is uh and the normal three moves the the stealth rock the knockoff and the U-turn are pretty much normal. The rock helmet there is to do a little bit of the of like a little bit of damage to the Victini. That with the stealth rocks, the Victini is such a hard thing to uh kind of like counteract that I'm very afraid of. I had nothing that can take a V create. Absolutely nothing that I can take a, a um a recreate from that thing. Next we have uh, Clams the the Mega Scissor. I was very hesitant on bringing this, but it's a pretty good uh, defogger. Has a huge um, attack stat that I'm not really taking advantage of, but I kind of want this as my special defensive wall in case I have to go up against a Togekiss. I can eat up um pretty much two hits except for a flamethrower. Um, the BP um, just has everything for priority damage, and the knockoff is to get rid of any items. The defog was there to get rid of the rocks. I wasn't really thinking about this set because I, I remembered that the, the that um, my own defog uh, would get rid of my own veil because I am bringing veil once again. This is kind of like a veil offense that I don't think I played really right. <laughs> um, and Rusi just for the, the for the for the longevity of of the match. And next we have the light. Clay, Arrow of Veil, uh, Nine Tails, having the Blizzard, Free Strike, and Dark Pulse. Didn't know what to bring in this thing, so I just bought two. Um, the Blizzard to hit harder, the Free Strike to hit the Vaporeon, and the and the and the the Deep Pulse just to hit everything else. Relatively easier, um, because uh, the Agron takes a Blizzard like it's nobody's business, and the the the, the uh Dark Pulse is more of a Insurance does a good 20% each time, so at least he doesn't get any recovery. So I was thinking probably, but you know, you, you do some good, you do some bad. And I I didn't know what to give her, so I just gave her that. Um, and next we have our sh our scarf uh flagon with the 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 EQ U-turn uh the outrage and the th uh the thunder punch. Um, this was pretty much just a, a late game sweeper or just as a pivot to do a little bit of damage. Um. Uh, we put him to be jolly just because um, it does speed tie with the Victini So I want to hit the Victini first before I got hit by the Victini Because um, uh, a short scarf set is pretty common as well So it's a short bandit on the Victini Mindset was to take care of the Victini And then the rest of the team should be easier And then in the battle it doesn't work out that way But we're going to hop right into battle right about now Alright guys so if you guys can see the battle right now Um we brought our team and they brought the Mega Agron, the Boom Bursting, <laughs> uh, I, I was gonna call it Skrillex, um, the, uh, the X-Cloud, the, the Vaporeon, uh, Togekiss, uh, Zygarde, and Bikini, um, really, really awesome team that he brought, um, completely counters my team, his entire, um, like, lineup completely, uh, on, like, it countered my team 100%, so I was very afraid of the team. So let's just hop right into it. As he leaves with the X Cloud, and I leave with the Flygon. Here I'm thinking like I can just go for U-turn, um, since either way I want my Flygon to lift as long as it can. And then realize, wait, nothing lifts a Boom Burst on this thing because it's scrappy. So um, he decides to switch out, which was an awesome move on my part because I actually went for U-turn to get some to get some uh, momentum here. I had a chance to go Veil or the offense, and this is where I think was the biggest problem in my end I thought I would put Veil up first but then I didn't realize that that would invite in the Victini if I went for the offense I would just invite no one because no one wants to take a um a 
a thunderbolt so i went for veil as he goes into the vitini that was a free move on his part i i lost my momentum there as soon as i saw that i lost my uh, i lost my um uh, my momentum there and then i just had my veil up where i only take like 30 percent from from uh from anything but apparently he was special since he used the blue flare instead of the v create so with that that gave me kind of an insight of what kind of set he was uh which made me less afraid which kind of made me underestimate his team but as he gets hit by the hail and i get hit by the hail which i need to figure out why i keep doing that to myself because hail is no longer hail is amazing if i don't use it against myself um but he goes he does go for the u-turn which was super effective of course um does only like um like seven percent just because of the of the veil um as he goes out into father and i try to get my stealth rocks up and then this is where i forgot that his name is actually his name is um is that for a reason because uh father kills everything in his path and i forgot how good the side guard was i was just thinking that he was kind of like a garsham that's really weak to um like really weak to um to um uh, the ice type moves and I didn't think a lot of it which this is where I realized that oh wait he's a subset I can't take out the sub with knockoff so he keeps his lefties but we still have the veil up for a little bit as he goes for coil which I, now I'm thinking like crap I need to get out of here uh, now that he has a coil up I need to just break that as soon as I can my veil is still up for for uh, for this whole time um, he does go for the for the dozen arrows, which was a good play on his part. Um, there's absolutely um, like nothing in my team that wants to take that, as he probably gonna switch out as I go for a dark pulse since I think that um, the dark pulse was my smartest play because he wants to go for the, the Victini play, which I don't think he was, it was smart him to go to the Victini play the way. So that was a misplay on my part. There, I should have actually just like switched out into my Marowak or into like anything since the, since my veil is still up. Um, but here I go out into Uxie, which I think is an awful idea as he puts on his own rocks, which now it gets me afraid that I don't have anything that I can do against him here. I was still afraid that he might have a fire blast or, or, um, or something to hit, uh, my, uh, my scissor, but him being super defensive, even especially, de especially defensive still did only 2%. As he goes for the, the toxic, I forgot this thing can just wall me to bits and then he reveals he has the ice punch and i completely lose my flag on that was my biggest mistake i left my flag on in when i knew he would have probably had the um that move and i could have at least gone out into my scissor got for default got rid of the rocks um even if he had a fire blast i would be able to get rid of my of the rocks and get a free switch into my thunderous and it would have killed but nope not really a smart idea on my part. This is where I need to not play when I'm super tired. And then I reveal that I have the Giga Drain, which does absolutely nothing. And he goes for the Toxic. Here, I'm just trying to get rid of the dent of the Mega freaking Aggron because it's super annoying. As I go for a U-turn on the on the Father Switch in, I go out into Elsa. Um, hear me thinking that I could put my Veil back up and then completely forgot. And then I try to make a double into the into the Scizor, which was a good play on my end. But doesn't really give me much longevity on on my nine tails since I have no way to give out the rocks. Um, here I think he gets a free sub up since I go for. Oh no, he switches out into the aggro, which I could actually gone for defog now. Um, and still getting rid of the aggro with a knock off. I believe does a decent amount to to the aggro. I would be able to not worry about the rocks for the late game but here i just thought you know what let me just give it up the aggro which was my own fault and i think this was where the match was pretty much over because i got rid of my own rock because i still had my rocks up it did it did mean that the victini was a free switching but i had ways to i had some i had ways to sack off things so i needed to play it right and i didn't so that gave him a free double out this whole double as well was a great play on his end because i was really afraid of, of the bikini so i so it made me switch into my oxy like how i did before and that just gave him a free sub up as well so not really happy about that um not happy about that at all as he goes for the substitute and i can't break that no matter what so i go out into clams to try to break the sub um he, i think he, in this part he does go for the coil Coil is super annoying to deal with, but I go for the roost just to 
make my longevity a little bit longer and then i realized that that was a really bad mistake on my end because the bp would have just gotten rid of the coil as um of the sub while he while he has the coil up so i can gone for a knockoff while he doesn't have the sub and he he's just gonna spam the um like the the the, the, the um the dozen arrows just to kill my um like my sister i tried to put up the hill just to um like let this thing die a slow and slower but then realized wait he has the leftover so it doesn't matter and then he e speeds a plus one the over half and that's super annoying then i go for the hp ice with the life orb just bring me down to three percent and then the toga kids which is threaded in my channel i hate this mon so much because he has to walk on berry which gives him a free nasty plot up and that is where everything just dies off i'm just like you know what S sack this off sack this off um it it's pretty much game but it did it was a horrible matchup in the end um the i i should have seen that berry coming but unfortunately enough we did get um a, the, the very first loss and he even said that um that 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 his whole team pretty much um it did match up pretty well against me where his only that my only threat on his um like for him was my thunderous so that kind of made me look like mm, okay so this was a losing battle to begin with so that's why he was um like very confident to bring in that kind of team um i was thinking he was gonna bring the right on i don't know why um the right on is just a really good play on his part if he brought it um but hopefully we get to see him in the playoffs um if we do then that'd be awesome um he's doing really well right now so he's, he's right now three and uh four and two and i'm right now five and one so we're still up there we're still up in the first or second slot so we're still in the leading boards um it'll, it all depends on how the other people do but on that we're gonna get the heck out here guys i hope you guys have have a fantastic day stay nerdy stay awesome and i will catch you guys in the next in, in week number seven so we do have a, a bye week um uh coming up because we don't have to face anyone which means i have a chance to think about what i'm going to bring um or what i'm going to trade over we might have a trade we might not i will let you guys know in another video but on that we're gonna get the heck out of here guys have yourself a fantastic day once again and ha and i will see you guys in week uh number seven for dwss bye